Okay, so I want to explain something that, until you actually see happen, can be really hard to understand for some people. It's counterintuitive. It was a mystery to me for a long time. And it's the idea that speakers resonate. Now, when you have a cabinet that has a hole in it, a vent or a port where the air can move in and out, a lot of people think that the driver is basically pushing the air out and then sucking it back in. And the more the driver moves, the more air it slings. And if the driver has a lot of excursion, it can move a lot, and then you have more bass. And this is sort of true. Now I've got this infra subwoofer here that I built and it's really big and it operates at frequencies so low that things move slow enough that when I use the slow motion feature on my iPhone we can actually see what's happening and that's really cool. It's also a very simple design so it's easy to understand. Now we've probably all seen a typical frequency and phase response graph for a vented enclosure. In this case for the infra subwoofer the tuning frequency is about 13 Hertz. Now below that the phase response of the port and the driver are out of polarity with each other at 180 degrees. And as we move up and through the tuning point of the cabinet, that phase relation flips. And now they're at zero degrees, or they're in phase with each other. Now that's easy enough to understand on paper. The words mean what they mean. But what's actually happening in reality when this takes place? Another really interesting graph to see here is the excursion amount of the driver at the different frequencies. And you can actually see that below the tuning frequency, the excursion is very high. But then when you hit the tuning frequency, it goes to almost nothing. And then above that, it kind of levels out. Now, why is this? So I thought I'd put this piece of foam over the vent so we can really see the air movement. So here's a sine sweep from 10 hertz up to 15 hertz, right over the tuning frequency. Looking back over this slow motion footage, we can see that at 10 hertz, we're below the resonant point of the cabinet. So the driver is really just pushing air in and out of the port. Yeah, there's a lot of like motion and a lot of noise, but there's really no bass because they're just canceling each other out. They're, they're out of phase, they're out of polarity. And as the driver moves up closer to the resonant point of the cabinet though, you can see that the excursion will begin to decrease, even though the power going to it remains the same. But the air in the port doesn't stop. Why? Well, because as they become in sync with each other, they're creating either a pressure zone inside the cabinet, wanting to both move in at the same time, or they're creating a suction, wanting to move out at the same time. That limits the driver because it stops its motion, even though the air in the port doesn't stop. At this point around the tuning frequency, they begin to become in sync. And let me tell you, being in the room right now, there's suddenly a ton of bass. It sounds like a subwoofer now. As we move up and through the tuning frequency, you can see that the acoustic load will begin to be shared more equally between the port and the driver. There, the driver begins to excursion more, the port a little bit less. The overall amount of bass, though, remains the same, and it remains very smooth up and through the resonant frequency range. Now, we can see this phenomenon even more clearly if we go back to our frequency graph, where we can show the individual responses of the driver and the port, as well as the combined frequency response of the entire cabinet. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video and follow Alpha Sound on social media and keep up to date with all of our other crazy projects. Thanks for watching.